Georgia despite falling short. The case, brought by Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis, could add to the legal woes facing Trump, the front-runner in the race for the Republican nomination for the 2024 presidential election. Fulton County Court Clerk Che Alexander told reporters it could take her office up to three hours to process the indictments after they were accepted by the judge. The court briefly posted a document on its website earlier on Monday listing several felony charges against Trump, but quickly removed it without explanation. Willis's office said at the time no charges had been filed and declined further comment. Hawaii's governor warns that scores more people could be found dead following wildfires on Maui. Hawaii's governor warned that scores more people could be found dead following the Maui wildfires as search crews go through neighborhoods where the flames galloped as fast as a mile a minute and firefighters struggled to contain the inferno with what some officials complained was a limited water supply. The blazes that consumed most of the historic town of Lahaina are already the deadliest in the U.S. in more than a century, with a death toll of at least 96. The cause was under investigation. We are prepared for many tragic stories, Governor. Josh Green told, CBS Mornings, in a recorded interview that aired Monday. They will find 10 to 20 people per day, probably, until they finish. And it's probably going to take 10 days. It's impossible to guess, really. As cell phone service has slowly been restored, the number of people missing dropped to about 1,300 from over 2,000, Green said. 20 cadaver dogs and dozens of searchers are making their way through blocks reduced to ash. Right now, they're going street by street, block by block, between cars, and soon they'll start to enter buildings, Jeff Hickman, director of public affairs for the Hawaii Department of Defense, said Monday on NBC's Today. In addition, FEMA has started to provide $700 to displaced residents to cover the cost of food, water, first aid and medical supplies, agency administrator Deanne Criswell said Monday. The money is in addition to whatever amount residents qualify for to cover the loss of homes and personal property. We're not taking anything off the table, and we're going to be very creative in how we use our authorities to help build communities and help people find a place to stay for the longer term, Criswell said. More than 3,000 people have registered for federal assistance, according to FEMA, and that number was expected to grow. Argentina currency plunges after presidential candidate who admires Trump comes first in primary vote. The Argentine peso plunged Monday after a 52-year, old anti-establishment candidate who admires former President Donald Trump came first in primary elections that will help determine the country's next president. Javier Maile rocked Argentina's political establishment Sunday by receiving the biggest share of primary votes for presidential candidates in the October general election to determine who leads a nation battered by economic woes. Maile wants to replace the peso with the dollar, and says that Argentina's central bank should be abolished, and that he thinks that climate change is a lie. He has characterized sex education as a ploy to destroy the family, and has said that he believes that the sale of human organs should be legal. He also has said that it should be easier for Argentines to own handguns. Argentina's government decided to devalue the local currency by 20% early Monday morning after the surprising showing that turned Argentina into the latest country where voters have chosen an outsider candidate to express anger against the status quo. Two mainstream political coalitions have traded power for a decade in Argentina. Operators were watching nervously Monday as the value of the peso also decreased in the parallel, or blue, market, dropping 12% by early afternoon. Argentina requires that citizens vote, and 69% of the country's 35 million voters went to the polls, each choosing candidates for positions ranging from local councilman to president. The major parties had contested races to be its presidential candidate. Maile was uncontested, and got a few points more than the candidates of parties that have dominated Argentine politics. After doing much better than expected, the upstart candidate with long sideburns and shaggy hair who gained notoriety and a rock star-like following by angrily ranting against the political cast, is now a real contender for the presidency. With around 97% of polling locations reporting, Maile had around 30% of the total vote, according to official results. The candidates in the main opposition coalition, United for Change, were at 28% and the current governing coalition, Union for the Homeland, had 27%. In order to win the vote in two months, Maile would have to increase his share of the nation's votes by 15 percent, a high hurdle even in a nation where voters tend to favor candidates they see as winners. If one candidate doesn't receive 45 percent of the vote, they would need 40 percent and a 10-point lead over the second-place candidate. Otherwise the race would go to a November runoff between the top two.